Live from New York, it's the show that has a power-packed half hour wow. coming your way right now. It's First Things First today. Good dissolve. <laughs> yes, and given the fact that they're 5-5, five and 1-5 five, and five in the conference, 0-3 oh in the division, you guys know I believe it would be over even if we weren't discussing Joe Burrow's injury. Mm-hmm. I think it, it, that is too big of a hole to climb out of. But without Joe Burrow, obviously everyone would agree the season is over. And I, I truly feel sick for Joe. I feel sick for Bengals fans. I know the Chiefs-Bengals rivalry, whatever it is. But this sucks. Yeah. It sucks for football no one fans. It this way, right? no, but, and I have a major issue. With how reckless and impulsive the Bengals have treated the maybe best player in the history of their franchise. Mm. Wow. Certainly the most important player they've had in decades. Let's just go through the blow by blow. Training camp. He has a sleeve on his calf because he already has some type of injury. Call that a warning. They sign. put him out there. Yep. He injures it. Before week one, before, Brew, you and I argued about whether or not they should put him on the shelf, we all thought, sit him the first couple weeks. You struggle against the Browns anyway. Let Give him a chance to get healthy. They were like, nope, he's good to go. And then we saw him in week one play the worst game of his career, throw the ball 30 times for 80 yards, and we're like, that looks nothing like Joe Burrow. So what they do in week two? Put him back out there, and that was the week, Brew. He re-injured the calf. And now we debated whether or not he should play through it, whatever it was. What we know is in week four, he played the Titans, and all of a sudden he's on the sideline flexing his arm, flexing his elbow, flexing his shoulder because he's getting beat up because he can't move around. They then somehow dance through the raindrops of all of that, and then he has some type of wrap or brace on his throwing hand before this game. Mm-hmm. And on a short week, they throw him out there again against the team that Brew calls the best defense in football, that has the most the sacks in football, and shockingly, your franchise quarterback gets hurt. You cannot treat this. this guy like he's expendable. They have all year, and now he, a guy who Brew's been injured a lot, is now injured again, and your season's over. That's on the team. That's no, on the it team. It is not. That, I agree with you that the season's over because Burrow's hurt. You know I thought if they had lost his game and Burrow was able to play, they'd be fine. Mm -hmm. Him being hurt, the season's over. But, Nick. What? I cannot agree with you at all on this. And, Wiles, you better not be going along. I'm I'm with you on this one. All right. Nick, he hasn't even made his case. He had a sleeve on his calf. Yes. How dare they practice him? He's got a sleeve on his calf. Should they ever? Should they not? Yeah, they should have practiced him. Really? It's called football. It's called tackle football. Yeah, but let's go through because they're not the only ones that do this. As we speak, just Jalen Hurts is playing through knee problems. All right, are, are they mishandling? Are they being reckless with their franchise quarterback? I've said that. Justin yes. Herb, really? He yeah. shouldn't be playing. Well, I don't know that he shouldn't be playing. I wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't be running the brotherly shove and all those things with him. I'm it, consistent the, on this. He, uh, I, am I don't consistent think so because Justin Herbert played all last year with broken ribs. And he shouldn't have been playing. It was a terrible idea. I, it was a terrible idea, and he Travis played Travis Kelsey this year has played through an ankle injury. Is that a terrible idea? No, I think I think. Oh, you, that's I okay. think you must but treat you're your quarterback. Yes. Oh, I, you, Tom Brady played a whole season on a torn MCL and won a Super I'll Bowl. I'll be honest with you. Was that a, he had yep. surgery? He I'll had be, surgery I'll be after the season. With you, that was not a. He, at no point during that year did he look hampered, which is why we didn't find out about that till after the fact. And people were like, "Really? It he was, was a hurt? torn. It still was a torn MCL that he knew about. Okay, all right. And he had surgery after the season. My Philip Rivers playing a playoff game with a torn ACL, like. This is football, man. You're going to play through pain. You're going to play through being banged up. There is no way they mishandled Joe Burrow. We were talking about it a, a week or two ago, how they made the right decision. No, no because you his were calf, saying that. You guys agree with I me. Agree. He said, he, he was right, you were right. His calf got better. The calf is not even an issue now. It, All right? Now, so, last night's injury had nothing to do with the calf. We have no idea what was going on with his wrist. But I'm sure quarterbacks play through sore wrists all the time. I mean, no, this, come on. Can I meet, this you, is, can no I meet you in the middle? I don't know, Hobbs, if we have that video that Nick is referencing with the little wrap on his wrist. I don't think you would say you saw this and you should sit him, especially if he wants to go and it's a do-or-die game. But perhaps the offensive game plan could be a little bit more like we saw Tua play 
Um, just because I'll reference it. The Tua Patriots game where Tua was getting rid of the ball at all times, was taking no sacks. He got hit by Clowney, who's like, been impactful this what, year, they and all of a sudden the season's sacks. over. Right. Get what, what, what I am saying is I feel like every, so many things the Bengals have done this year mm-hmm. have been acting as if this is what, – what does Joe Burrow believe? Let me back up. How big's their window? His take. career. Right. The but Bengals have been, so the Bengals have been acting you know that. Like, like it's right now. But and kind of is. Right T. Now. Higgins is going to. But that's right. Well, right. The con- since once you, his contract kicks since, in, as you've always said with the Bills right, and other teams, is, since then you the brought up, can listen, close. I, I wasn't going to bring up the T. Higgins thing, and it's almost a separate critique, but I think that was impulsive too. I think that they had this offseason, they had the opportunity to be like, listen, we're going to lose T. Higgins for nothing. We can do the smart thing, take a slight step back with our receiving like a court, get a, get a first round pick, and then something for him. Yeah. Instead, they were like, no, no, no. We're going for it right now, which is, in my opinion, one of the reasons why they then were like, well, if we're going for it right now, it might be the only last year with Higgins and Chase. Burrow's got to play all these games, no, and now he's hurt. First, Burrow wanted to play. Yes. He, you can get hurt you, anytime. Here's the bottom line well, with Joe Burrow. As yeah. great as he is, he's injury Well, that's the other that's, thing. That's what it boils down to. That this is, is not true. on the Bengals. He, he tore his knee up his rookie year. He played through his second and yeah. third years. This year, he's been injured the whole season. And he had so an MCL sprain just, in the right. Super Bowl. He's he just got injury hurt in college. Point. That part's true. All right, we got to get to the Ravens. Hot show, remember. Yeah. Fast show. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, the Ravens' win came at a high cost as well. They moved to 8-3, and three, but Mark Andrews injured early. Looks to be done for the year. It's hard to overstate this loss. Lamar completes 75% of his passes to Andrews. Six TDs, Ooh. zero interceptions. Passer rating of 136. Numbers say he's more important than Kelsey is to Mahomes. Wow. So, Brew, That's saying a lot. you have the Ravens going to the Super Bowl. Do you still believe? I still believe. It's a big loss. I don't want to downplay it. Like you said, he's a security blanket, his favorite receiver. But I think they can withstand it. Last night, obviously, I know the Bengals, even though Burrow doesn't play defense. There's a bit of yeah, a shot that, throughout that the team. Them. But they yep. did score 27 points after he was hurt or after the first quarter. So, I think they'll be fine. Isaiah likely is their backup. He can catch. I don't know about how they're going to have the tight end that blocks as well as Andrews, but he can catch. Their run game is still strong. We know the defense is great. And, Nick, and I know you saw it as well as everybody, OBJ, now yeah. fortunately he's not hurt because I thought he got hurt no, on that he, last play. Well, he play. did. But yeah, but it looks like it's not serious. Yeah, right. he's okay. But he, that was the best he's looked since the Super Bowl with the Rams mm-hmm. yeah. by far. Now, I don't know if he can even stay healthy. That's the But concern. if he can – he gave them something he last gave them night some juice. that you haven't seen that in a while the, from them. So, And they haven't been able to complete long no, passes. And, and, and by the way, they can do uh, Odell so. last week took a slant to the house. Yep. And then this week showed some juice. But he also got banged up. And the, the injury concern with him is massive. I, Mark Andrews is awesome. He's, in my opinion, third best tight end in football. I think it's Kelsey Kittle and Mark Andrews are the three best. And he obviously is not only Lamar Jackson's safety blanket, but Lamar Jackson's only reliable weapon over the, his entire career. Well, health-wise, like, right. availability-wise, you're saying? Well, no, well, just, just the, the only guy right. that's been with him his for whole his whole career, career right. that's been reliable and good and the health part of it. I must say, if right now, I know before the year you had Ravens, Bengals, AFC title game, Bengals in a different spot. I think you would agree. You're saying with the Ravens, I get that, but their biggest competition would be Kansas City. Correct? Yeah, my vision, which has now been derailed, was Cincinnati, Cincinnati beating beats Kansas, Kansas City. <laughs> so the Ravens don't have to. In the to. second round, the Ravens that. beating the but Bengals. But that's not yes. the, the point I'm making is right now, the biggest, almost universally held knock for the Chiefs, except for by me, is that they have this disastrous group of pass catchers. Well, they currently now have a better group of pass catchers than the Ravens. If the Ravens are the biggest competition without Mark Andrews, go man for man. I've got the numbers right here because the Chiefs have an A triple plus in Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Right. And, the, and, Kelsey, say, and no let, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But take Kelsey as far as wide receivers. No, but, but, that's, but that's not Baltimore. So I get it, but they, I'm just saying. I mean, Kel- wouldn't you agree their receive their wide receivers are better than yes. Kansas City? Yes, but they okay, but they but saying. they the now Kelsey but factor. yeah, yeah, yeah Kelsey, Kelsey yeah. the pass catcher. And when we were talking about the Ravens, it was the wide receivers. Plus, their best pass catcher was a tight end who's now out. I, 
man, I it's also why this these AFC North teams, I still think three are going to make the playoffs, Browns, Steelers, and Ravens. Yep. Man, all they of these games, up. Thursday night or not, man, these games are wars. Mm-hmm. And by the end of the season, those teams from that division in particular, I think you're going to see a lot of teams that are going to be less than whole by the time the season ends. Okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.